Excuse me. Thank you for the beautiful music. Oh. Are those for me? Yes. Oh, uh, thank you. Pleasure is wholly and entirely mine, I assure you. <clears throat> well, uh, see you next week, I guess. Um. Uh, excuse me, I, I shan't be keeping you, but could I see you again perhaps to talk about your music? I, I'd like that. Slow down, Buster. I don't even know your name. I, uh, will you forgive me, my, my name is Hugo. Hugo, huh? Uh, may I? Hmm. You want me to give you my number? Yes. Well, <laughs> okay. Uh. There. Ah, uh, Debbie, the name of an angel. <laughs> you, you have no idea what this means to me. I, I gotta go, Hugo. Uh, See ya. Yes. Yes. Who's the hippie? Yeah, just some guy. Oh, some guy. Some guy gives you flowers? Of oh, Cosmo, he's an admirer of my music, okay? Music lover. Yeah, okay, Debbie. such as yours should not be canned. Uh, <laughs> no, I don't, I don't think so. You know, no, it's kind of late. Oh, how could you say no to a night with a gentleman? 
Hey, you know what? Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, I'll, I'll go out with you. Oh, delicious. I'll meet you at Shape and Ash. Shape and Ash, one hour, goodbye. Oh, oh, wait. You must bring that trombone of yours. My trombone? Oh, you must. All right. Goodbye. Ciao. Well, if it isn't my little girl. What you up to, girly? Cosmo, I am not your little girly. I'm a lady, thank you very much. Okay. You're a lady. Hey, lady. Kiss the clown, huh? Kiss the clown. Let me touch you. There was a time. Once upon a time. You let my fingers do the talking. Why do you always have to be drunk, Cosmo? What is it with all these questions? What is this, Russia? No, I got a question for you, little lady. What about that fondue you was cooking up earlier, huh? We got company, and you've been on the phone for two hours. Two hours? Whatever. All I know is this clown's tummy's rumbling. And cowboy! You're fixing for some grub, ain't ya? Uh-huh. See, honey, we got a hungry guest here. Oh, guest? That guy should be paying rent. On speaking of rent, whoa, whoa, Cosmo, whoa, when are you going to get whoa, your act together? What is rent? There's a time when rent's due. And a time when fun do, huh? Make your own goddamn dinner tonight. I see what's going on here. You're going out with that admirer of yours, ain't you? The music lover, ain't you? As a matter of fact, I am. His name is Hugo. You know where he's from? England. Now that's oh, the class. England. Why didn't you say so? England. It seems England's so classy you forgot to put makeup on your neck. What's so classy about England anyway, Debbie? Well, for one thing, he doesn't ride around our apartment all day dressed as a clown, riding a trike when he hasn't been employed for over two years. These are my drinking clothes. Oh, I can't believe I'm listening to you. Anna said I should leave you. Sarah said I should leave you. Even Hildegard said I should leave you. Yeah, yeah, I've heard it all before. If I was in such a super stud, you'd never have moved in with me. So what's England like in bed, Debbie, huh? What does England do for you in bed? Oh! Debbie, wait. I love you. Oh, who the hell am I kidding? I don't love you. Get out of here. May I be so bold as to make a toast to beautiful music and the lovely lady who plays it? Of course. <laughs> Hugo, I love your accent. You know, it's so rare I meet a man with any class at all. Mm, yes, Debbie, I'm, I'm afraid we're a dying breed. Today at my concert, I, I noticed you were crying. Why the tears? Debbie, do you remember a time when you were a child and you told your mother you were too ill to attend school? A little white lie. And she went to the store and, and bought you a treat, perhaps ice cream. And she brought it back home. And it was a treat you didn't deserve, but you enjoyed nonetheless. Debbie, your trombone is my guilty pleasure. Oh, here you go. And it brings out the child in me. You know, it's funny you should say that. Because you wouldn't believe how many people have told me they think the trombone is a very erotic instrument. <laughs> yes, and I, I count myself among them, actually. Oh, speaking of my trombone, why don't we go back to your place and I'll play it for you? Mm, what a saucy idea. You know, I live on the island. Oh, you do? I've never been there. Oh, well then, may I be your guide? The fairy leaves in a blinking of an eye. 
Let's go. Let's. <laughs> yes, port wine is an acquired taste, but one no less worth acquiring, I assure you. I stand before you the result of a glorious education. We studied the greats. Flaubert, Moliere. <laughs> you simply must read Moliere's Los Forbidden de Cricri. It is a gas. Hey, Hugo, what's with all the toys? You got kids? <coughs> oh, the, the toys, my dear. Oh, no, they're mine. You know the saying, a great man is a man who in manhood still retains the heart of a child. Besides, I'm a bohemian by nature. Have you ever heard of Le Bohème? Kid you leave the manina. How oh, cold your little hand. Just be warm in here in mine. Play for me. All right, Hugo. My sleeping beauty There you are Good morning, my lady. Good morning, sir, Hugo. Did you sleep well? Beautifully. Wonderful. How does a cup of coffee grab you? Mm, that would be wonderful. I'll be right back. Sunshine. Let's see here. It's uh, 2.30 in the afternoon. Debbie left the apartment at around 8 o'clock last night. So that would give you four hours for dinner, three hours for a leisurely stroll around town, three more hours cocktailing, and... Oh, well, what do you know? I'm all out of fingers. Get out of my house. Hey, where's the... Uh, Mr. Classy James Bond accent, huh? Huh? 
How did you get in here? Oh, well, I was getting to that, see. Me and the cowboy followed you. What do you think of them apples, huh? We followed you two lovebirds all night. You followed us all night? What the hell is going on here? Debbie, I've been trying to evict the... Debbie, I've been trying to evict these ruffians, but to no avail. Oh! That's the classy accent Mr. James Mason I've heard so much about. Now listen here, clowny, I... Okay, Debbie, okay. You got me, I'm a phony. I'm a goddamn phony. But the feelings I have for you, they're not phony, Debbie. They're real. I love you. You lied to me all night, now you expect me to believe this? I know, I know. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. <sighs> Seen enough. Okay, honey. Let's blow this pop sand. It'll be beautiful, honey. Just you and me and that fair... Whoa, we gotta go. We got two minutes to catch the ferry. Come on. Yeah, let's go. Debbie, wait. Love you! Baby! 